guys, I'm Jacob Crochet and in today's video I'll be teaching you how to make sunny angel clothing. So I just wanted to first start and say thank you guys so much for the support on like my past few videos. It means a lot to me and I will be coming out with more patterns but without further ado let's get started. Okay so first things first, the yarn that I use is a weight 3 yarn. However, not all weight 3 yarns are the same and this is the same with like any weight of yarn where they're just because it says it's the same weight of yarn doesn't mean they're like the same size. Uh, so I have these four different weight three yarns here to kind of give you an example. Um, these three I use. I use Capri Tensile, True Boo, and Bernat Softy Cotton for my Sunny Angel clothing. However, I do not use Bernat Softy Baby despite it being a weight three yarn. So these are all considered a weight three yarn like that but I'll put up a photo here and show you them like the strands all next to each other to show you like why I don't use the Bernat Softy Baby it's an acrylic yarn just because it's slightly thicker and it's also uh, quite fuzzy so like, as you can see, you can really see just how much halo fuzz this yarn has. And I find that that kind of, it doesn't make the Sunny Angel clothing look as nice, in my opinion. But uh, you can try and use this yarn uh, for this pattern and see if you like it. Otherwise, I, I definitely think the Capri Tensile True Boo and Bernat Softy Cotton works, like, really nicely. The crochet hook that I use is a 3 millimeter three millimeter crochet hook despite all of these balls of yarn they actually recommend a four millimeter i size down to a three millimeter uh to me that gives me like the tightest stitches and because we're working with such small items it works the best so here are some examples of the items i'll be showing you to make so the first one is a bag the second are some overalls some shorts a top and a dress and then also a skirt which will literally be the dress but without this top bit here's an example of what the overalls look like on you pop the head off and you always put them on feet first you slide them on and then you put this strap around the neck part and then pop the head back on. Example of an outfit with a top, shorts, and a bag. So the bag you can just slide on and off over the head. For the shorts you just slide them on and off from the bottom. And the top is similar. You pop the head off and slide them off. For the top you always want to put them on bottom first, like feet first. And then over. And yeah, that's what that looks like. For the dress, it's the same thing. You go feet first, slide it up, take the head off, put the strap around, and pop the head back on. And it looks like that. The skirt is literally just, like I said, without the top part, so you can just slide it on feet first. I'll be going in with this yarn. For each of these items, except for the bag, I chain 14, and that is the circumference around their, like, waist, I guess. And it's uh, long enough that it will... Well, it's long enough and short enough that you can get it over them and it'll stay up. So I just create a slip knot, and then I crochet fairly tight so I'll measure what my chain 14 is for reference okay so here's my chain 14 and when I measure it it's about six centimeters long so try to aim for that length when you're chaining 14 as well so after you've made your chain 14 we're first going to begin to make the top so you're going to connect into that first stitch you made with a slip stitch 
and then what I like to do is just chain one and that's gonna act as your like first stitch and then you're gonna make a uh, single crochet 13 single crochets all the way around so into every chain space should mention what I also like to do is sometimes carry this yarn tail behind my stitches when I make my single crochets. So when I put my hook into that first stitch, I wrap it over top of that stitch and then single crochet over it so that it hides the yarn tail so I have less work later on if I wanted to hide that. Okay, so this is after I've made my 14 stitches and uh, with the yarn following. If you ever have any like loose ends, you can just snip those off. So at this point, you can try it on just to make sure that it like fits. And you just slide it up. So that's good, that fits. And then you're going to continue and make one more round of 14 single crochets. Right, so this is after making two rounds of single crochets. And then what you're going to do is chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you're going to count five stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, and slip stitch in that fifth stitch. And this is your strap. And then I like to chain one and snip off the yarn. And then pull it tight. And that's your little top, and then I will hide this yarn tail inside of these stitches. I kind of just pull it through inside of there. So I take my yarn needle, and we're just gonna poke it through some random, random parts in here. As long as it's hidden, it's okay. I stretch it a little bit just to give it some slack. And then I'll just snip off the excess. And there you have it, a cute sunny angel top, and we can try it on. So feet first, pull it up the butt, and secure it. Look at that, that's pretty cute. I like this yarn. I like the different colors it gives. So we'll make the shorts next, so it's the same way to start you're gonna chain 14 so there's my chain 14 and then you're gonna connect in that first chain so you'll connect in the first chain with a slip stitch and then i chain one so that's my first stitch and then we're gonna make three rounds of single crochet so you're gonna have three rounds of 14 SC, or 14 single crochets. So this is after the first round, this is after the second round, and this is what it will look like after the third round. So you can kind of try it on if you want to just make sure that the size fits. This could, this could also be like a tube skirt, but we'll, we'll add the, the bit between the legs. So yeah, it looks good. The next step, you're going to chain two, so one, two, and then you're going to connect to the seventh stitch, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, with a slip stitch. And 
and I like to turn it around so that I'm still working on the outside. And you're going to make a S, like single crochets all the way around the outside and then down this middle part. So when I get to the middle part here, I like to single crochet right into the same spot that I first chained, just so that there's not a gap there. And then I'm going to keep going around the other leg. So this should be... Uh, 15 stitches because you added that extra one. Okay, and now that we've gotten to this other middle bit, I'm going to add another one. So that's 16 stitches in total. And then I make two single crochets on the, the chain space. So kind of hard to do but I just kind of force it <laughs> but we'll just have one and then two right in there and then I'll just slip stitch right across from where that first chain was or we're from where I first chained, I guess, or attached it. So I'm just going to slip stitch. And then ch I always chain one just to secure it. And pull it tight, and then I will cut and pull. And then we'll hide that yarn tail. So those are the shorts. I always hide the yarn tail inside, so sometimes I'll flip them inside out just to hide it. But those are the shorts. You can try them on. Make sure that they fit. The little feet should fit through. And then I usually, sometimes I'll just use my nails just to pull it up tight. And yeah, it looks like that. Their butts should be covered. Yeah. Turned it inside out and hid the yarn tail. And then I'll flip them back out. And for the overalls, uh, I'll just continue off of these shorts because you make the shorts and then we're going to attach the yarn to make the overalls. Okay, so I've just made a slip knot around my hook and you want to attach it like so one, two, three, four, five. I like to try to get it kind of in the middle. So I like these five stitches. So I'm gonna attach it right here. And I'll just make a slip stitch. And we're gonna do the same thing that we did before where I'm just gonna carry this yarn so that it hides that yarn tail. So it gives me less work. So I just made a slip stitch. I'm going to single crochet back into that same stitch. So that's one single crochet and we're going to make five down this front part. Two, three, four, and So I like how that looks. That looks pretty centered to me. I'm going to chain one and turn and then I'm going to make an, an, a single crochet back into those same five 
uh, single crochets. So one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so we've made that like bib part, and now you can make the strap. So chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and we're just gonna connect on the other end of it with a slip stitch. And I chain one just to make sure it's secure and pull it tight and trim off the excess and then hide that yarn tail. I usually hide it going down on the inside somewhere. And this was the other yarn tail. If you have little bits sticking out, you can just trim those off as well. I'm just hiding the yarn tail into these little stitches here. And then trim off the excess. And there you go. Tie them on now. So I always go feet first. You just pull it over the butt, pop the head off, Oop. and there you go, little overalls. So next we'll make the skirt, and it's the same start, you're going to chain 14 and connect with this slip stitch. Okay, so I've connected, and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to chain two and I'm going to make a double crochet back into that same first stitch and I'm also going to carry this yarn tail over just to hide it. So to me this counts as two double crochets in one stitch and then in the next chain space, we're gonna make three double crochets and you're gonna keep repeating that pattern. You're gonna make two double crochets in one and then three double crochets in the next. So this is three double crochets. And then in the next one, I'm gonna make two double crochets. and repeat that pattern of two, three, two, three, all the way around. Okay, so this is after I finish going around, doing two double crochet, three double crochet, two double crochet, three double crochet, and repeating it. Uh, you don't have to be super precise uh, with that pattern if you accidentally put two when you're supposed to do three. It, it's not gonna make a difference. It just gives it this ruffly look uh, when you do like the two, three, two, three. Uh, so next, what we're going to do is we're just going to connect in that first stitch with a, sing uh, with a slip stitch. We're going to chain two, and we're going to double crochet into every single stitch all the way around. So here's after I finish making one double crochet into each of those stitches. If you wanted to make a two-tone dress, then that first round that we did with the 2-3-2-3 two, three, two, three pattern, uh, you'd make that one color and then you would attach a different color for the uh, outer side. Um, if you want, you can also like continue this on if you wanted an even longer 
uh, skirt <laughs> or dress because this will also uh, be similar to how the overalls are made where we'll attach the yarn at the top but you can see if we fit it on that's about how long it is so if you wanted to add more you could you could add like some other little details or something which I think would be really cute uh, but for me, this is this is pretty good for the skirt, so I'm just going to finish it off. So I'm just going to make a slip stitch in that first stitch, and then chain one, pull it tight, and cut the yarn, and then I'll hide that yarn tail on the inside of the dress of, of the skirt. <laughs> So that was the skirt. So for the dress, it's similar to how we made the uh, overalls, but we're just going to connect with a slip stitch. And then I like to carry that, I like to carry that yarn tail over. And I'm just going to chain one, and we're going to make four half double crochets. So. I'll actually make it in that same stitch that I slip stitched in just to prevent a gap from forming so that's one two three and and then we're going to chain one and turn and I'm going to make five half double or five single crochets going back so one two three four and then the fifth one is going to be in that like chain space that I made so that's five and then we're going to chain seven for the strap so two three four five six and seven and slip stitch on that end stitch and then I chain one pull it tight and cut off the yarn and then I'll hide the yarn tail under there okay so here's the finished dress with all the yarn tails hidden so we can try it on so feet first pull it over the butt pop the head off and then secure it and that's what it looks like so these are the overalls and the dress pretty cute so for the final item we're gonna make the bag and this one's the only one that's made differently because we're going to start off with a magic ring that has six single crochets in it. So I'm just going to make a magic ring. I would keep it loose because we are working with quite small yarn, at least for this uh, magic ring, uh, just so that we don't have troubles continuing it. Because <laughs> I know sometimes small yarn with small hooks can get quite finicky for some. I, I find it kind of difficult sometimes. So four, five, and 
six, and then we're just gonna pull it tight. And I also like to carry this on, but you don't really have to because it will be on the inside of the bag. Uh, but then we're going to make an increase, six increases into each stitch. Okay, so this is after making six increases, so I have 12 stitches. The yarn tail that I carried over is still poking out after that, so I'm just going to snip the excess off. And now you're going to make two rounds of single crochets all the way around. So this is after the first round, and this is after the second row. So once you're done the second row, you're just going to chain 14 for the strap. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, and we're going to connect it right across. So we have 12 stitches in total, so you can count about six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and we're just going to make a slip stitch. And I chain one, and pull it tight, and cut off the yarn. And then I hide that yarn tail on the inside of the bag. And there's the bag. So we made the overalls, the shorts, which were just built, well, the shorts, and then the overalls. <laughs> Um, a top, the skirt, and then the dress. And yeah, and you can mix and match these. I have my little bin here. These are all my overalls, dresses, bags, tops, shorts, and this is where my skirts were gonna go. Uh, but I'm clearly I'm I need to make more stock. <laughs> but you can like mix and match. So here's another bag that I made. Some cool color combos. I think this bag will look really cute with the pink overalls, so we can try that on. And obviously, like, depending on what Sunny Angel you have, you can dress them up in clothes that match whatever their little hat or outfit is. These clothes won't fit hippers because they have a, like, a, the different belly. Um, I think some sunny angels you also can't take their heads off <laughs> So that those ones you might only be able to make like shorts or skirts for them, but Yeah, I think that looks pretty cute with the bag Yeah, and I put this like rose bag on this one. I thought that looks cute Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and comment down below what are you working on today, or what are some other video ideas you'd like to see. And also tag me on Instagram if you make any of these. I would love to see them. Like seriously, it, it brings me so much joy to see like sunny angels in their cute little outfits. But anyway, stay tuned for next week's video. I think it will probably be another market vlog. I'm not too sure yet. If it's not, it'll probably be something crochet related, so stay tuned for that. Hit that bell notification so that you're notified of all my uploads, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye!